She hustle, I'm from LA, Slots in the Crenshaw area, you know. All the time, I mean, you know, all that is cool for the image and all that, but all them is liabilities, you feel me? I'd rather invest in some real estate. Exactly, homie. A real asset, take care of my people, because you know, that's it, it, it look good, but at the end of the day, you losing value, homie. It ain't it ain't it ain't appreciating, it's depreciating. It's I mean, I feel like that's insecurity. Material things ain't nothing, you feel me? At the end of the day, it's who you is, you know? You wasn't born with it, you gonna die without it. So if you feel you need some, some diamonds or some jewelry to get out of female, it's because you feel you lack something within yourself, you know what I mean? So all that, as far as that angle, it's like I feel that's insecurity. And as you just mentioned, the morning turned to violence overnight. And the latest we've heard from the LAPD is they say that detectives have worked tirelessly and are now seeking the public's help in tracking down that suspect. And just a warning, some video in this report is graphic. Los Angeles police now identifying a suspect in the killing of Nipsey Hussle. 29-year-old Eric Holder is wanted in connection with the rapper's murder. Security camera video just obtained by CNN shows the suspect walking up to Hustle and two other men as they stood outside the rapper's store, firing at them multiple times before running to a nearby alley and fleeing in a car driven by an unidentified female. The Los Angeles Times, citing law enforcement sources, reports the gunman and Hustle got into a fight before the shooting. The medical examiner says that Hustle died within an hour from gunshot wounds to his head and torso. All right, y'all. What is going on? It is Black Balloon. And I'm coming back with another video. So y'all already know what's going on. We are here today to talk about Nipsey Hustle officially. Now, I did a video on Nipsey way back when he died. But I thought now would be a good time to revamp the video, you know, just cause everything that's happened, you know, how it relates to a lot of murders that have happened since Nipsey Hussle was killed back in 2019. You know, so much has made everything just a lot clearer than now we can actually fully understand what has happened just in the recent past about all these artists that have been killed off, supposedly, allegedly, gotta say that. And plus, when I did this video, I think I had just started making videos, so, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't as seasoned as I am now. But this picture right here, I wanted to start the video with this picture right here, this screenshot, actually. I'm not taking credit for screenshotting his Instagram the day that he died. This was from College Kid, um, and College Kid got it from somebody else who screenshotted it before the number started to change. This was the day he died. Now, you know, I'm dedicated to this stuff because I saved this picture for over three years. Nipsey died in March. I screenshotted this, or either I found it right after Nipsey died, and I, I came across this screenshot. Now, I've saved this for over three years. This, I've I never deleted this picture right here because this is the, this is, you know, before we even get into anything else about Nipsey, about his death, this right here, if this don't give us, you know, what we're looking for when it comes to these people's death, when it comes to these rituals, bro, look, I haven't even said anything. Y'all already see it. It's circle. Y'all know, this was the screenshot of Nipsey Hussle's IG the day that he died. The day that he died. What do y'all see here? Nipsey died on March 31st, 2019. March 31st, 2019, y'all. When I saw this screenshot, I was like, bro, come on, it is... It can't get any more clear than this. And guess what day Nipsey died on? 
Guess what day he died on, y'all? Yeah, I, I don't even have to say it. If you've been on this channel, you already know what day it was. You don't even have to go look. Just guess. He died on Sunday. Sunday in the middle of the afternoon. Didn't I tell y'all I need to do a video of how many celebrities been sacrificed and killed on Sundays? He died on Sunday, y'all. His IG following, I promise you, this is a real screenshot. 3.1 million followers. This was before, this was the day that he died. So this was before a bunch of followers started going to, um, I mean, a bunch of new followers started following his page after he died. Someone caught it. He followed 2,019 people. It does not get any more eerie than that. I promise you it don't. And then another thing was, if y'all remember, he tweeted, I think the day of or the night before he died, that having strong enemies, the day before he died, if I'm not mistaken, having strong enemies is a blessing. He got the cold and he ran out of here so fast. He never does that in the morning. Right away, I called his mother. I said, Angel, she's called Angelique, but I call her Angel. Something must have happened. I said, Samuel jumped up. He didn't take his shower. He got out of here so fast. Samuel was racing to the Marathon Hustle store, the place where he had been shot multiple times. Samuel would be there for his brother's last breaths. Sammy got up there soon enough to start helping his brother. So Aramis knew Samuel was there before he died. Hustle's accused killer got away, but not for long. Eric Holder was arrested Tuesday in Bellflower and arraigned yesterday. Motive for the murder is still unclear. Police are only saying the two had a dispute before the shooting. The guy was in the parking lot running around getting his food or whatever it may be. Uh, I had, if you look at the tapes, I had my food in my hand the whole time talking to Nipsey while we were in the parking lot. Um, I left for a matter of seconds, just left, left to go uh, put my food down in the break room, like I'll be right back. Put my food down in the break room. By the time I hit the break room, I heard the gunshots. Start running. Gunshots. Start so, running. I might have left Nipsey's side maybe three seconds. I left him maybe possibly. I might have left Nipsey's side maybe three seconds. Motive for the murder is still unclear. Police are only saying the two had a dispute before the shooting. Today, motive for the murder is still unclear. Police are only saying the two had a dispute before the shooting. Motive for the murder is still unclear. Police are only saying the two had a dispute before the shooting. And uh, the dude that shot him, he came and shook our hands, said he was a rapper and all this old bullshit. No words, no words exchanged. Uh, the guy was in the parking lot running around getting his food or whatever it may be. Uh, I had, if you look at the tapes, I had my food in my hand the whole time talking to Nipsey while we were in the parking lot. Um, I left for a matter of seconds, just left, left to go uh, put my food down in the break room. Like, I'll be right back. Put my food down in the break room. By the time I hit the break room, I heard the gunshots start running gunshots. out. Motive for the murder is still unclear. Police are only saying the two had a dispute before the shooting. Now, the reason I played that part of the video and I chose those clips specifically was because there was a lot of inconsistencies about what happened right before Nipsey died. And I just happened to catch them say in that news clip that all that the LAPD had you know, this was like the news as it happened. So it was just about a day or two after he died. And they kept saying that Nipsey and the dude that shot him, they had a, dis um, a dispute before Nipsey was killed. And if you go back and you listen to all the interviews that that cowboy dude did, he doesn't mention anything about a dispute. He actually, in fact, said about three different stories of how shitty cuz which is a dude that killed Nipsey. He had about three different stories on how he approached him in the parking lot. At first, he said, we knew him from around the way. Then he also said that Shady Cuz was just a rapper and he came up to Nipsey trying to sell him or talk to him about music, whatever, whatever. And he mentioned that they didn't speak to each other. They didn't talk. There wasn't anything that happened. He, he mentioned like three different scenarios. Specifically, he said he was a rapper. 
He said they never really talked to each other. He said they knew him from around the way. And that was in like another piece of another interview when he said they knew him from around the way. It was an interview he did with E! News when he said that dude was a rapper. So the cowboy dude was in question to been like, maybe he was the one that kind of gave the go ahead for the setup to kill Nipsey because everyone questioned how he just so happened to walk away for three seconds and boom, Nipsey gets shot. So, you know, to me, it, it smells like setup. It smells like him walking away was the key for this setup to happen at that time because he chose the perfect time, you know, as if he knew what was going on when Buddy came over there to come talk to them or however they ended up talking, but there was no, there wasn't any kind of animosity before he shot Nipsey is what I'm trying to tell you. The police is saying they had a dispute and then that led to the shooting, but it that did not happen. There was no kind of animosity before it happened. There was no argument. There was nothing. The cowboy dude said it three different times and that he just so happened to walk away for three seconds, he goes into the store. Why three seconds? That seems like way too much of a coincidence, which we know coincidences don't exist, for him to have just left, and just in the amount of a couple of seconds, Nipsey gets shot and killed. So you tell me if that makes sense. Now I wanna use this part of the video to go into kind of like a little bit of symbolism and a couple of more key points about Nipsey Hussle's death. So here's Lauren London during the vow of silence, showing her allegiance to the one I got. Remember I told y'all this was also allegiance to the one I got horse, the eye of horse. He, he is, um, he has a bunch of, you know, basically, drawings of him doing this pose right here so it's not it's not just the vow of silence it's also more symbolism to the eye of Horus. so it says lauren was a hollywood actress before she got with independent rapper nipsey hustle she started as a video model in 2003 she's most known for her role in the movie atl which was released march 31st 2006 nipsey died at the age 33 years old and we already ran over the date march 31st 2019 which would have been exactly 13 years after atl's release date the original atl now thing about it is just right here in this first paragraph y'all already see it his wife which she was most famous for her movie and her role in atl with ti that movie came out on march 31st Nipsey died at the age 33 on March 31st, 13 years after the date. Also, what was his Instagram page? He had 3.1 million followers. He followed 2019 people. Look at all that numerology right there, y'all. From Lauren London being in her most popular movie that released on March 31st, her late husband dies 13 years later on March 31st, which was a Sunday at the age of 33. Almost don't even need to read the rest of this article. You know, I wasn't going to make this video that long to begin with because it's like right in your face. You know, we don't have to drag this one on. It says, I'm not going to even say those two words because I don't believe in that. It says, people are connecting Nipsey's death to a ritual distraction. The LAPD Lauren's blood sacrifice for higher fame and gang violence. Then perhaps it's all connected in some strange way. The saying goes, fact is stranger than, stranger than fiction, which of course we know that by now. Fact is way more stranger than fiction. The blood sacrifice for fame theory was made popular by P Professor Griff and a revolutionary 80s rap group, Public Enemy. We all know about Professor Griff. Um, he has a bunch of videos exposed in the industry and he definitely taught a lot of us um, about the industry because I know I used to watch his clips way before I used to watch his clips like at 19 years old I was watching him um, 
you know, talk about Hollywood rituals, sex rituals, and the $20 million club and all this good stuff, right? So it's one example of many Griff uses was singer Jennifer Hudson. She made her debut on a TV show, American Idol, in 2004. In 2006, she starred in the movie Dreamgirls. In 2007, she won a Golden Globe for her role in the film. Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew were all murdered in 2008. Her brother-in-law was accused of the killing. He proclaims his innocence, which I did a video of that. That video is on the channel. Um, and I think her brother-in-law was innocent. And if you notice, basically from 2006 to 2008, all that happened in a span of three years until when she made the sacrifice, which is probably, you know, one of the most insane rituals I've ever seen, you know, as far as her whole family. Also, this goes... This article goes more a little bit over the pics that Nipsey Lauren London did in that GQ magazine back in 2019. Now, when he died, a lot of people was talking about this stuff because he took pictures with the white horse, which we know symbolizes crossing over. It symbolizes death. It says the white horse symbolizes death. And upside down flowers represent the opposite of the usual, meaning the flowers were given. So if you received an upside down red rose, it meant the love affair was over. It says Nipsey was murdered on 331.19. The ambulance truck was number 57. And he was shot six times at the age of 33. Also, this gets pretty interesting as well. The hangman pose says Nipsey was photo wearing one sock and the ambulance truck was 57. Now, I can't show y'all those pictures or to get this video flagged, but if y'all do remember, y'all can go look it up for yourself. He was in the hangman pose. The hangman, the hangman is a 12 tarot card and one leg is tucked between the other. According to Wikipedia, Norse god Odin, who suspended himself from a tree in order to gain knowledge. Nipsey was working on a Dr. CB documentary. Nipsey also purchased a shopping plaza on Crenshaw and Slauson and the neighborhood is being gentrified. So I'm just reading y'all an article that kind of put together a bunch of this stuff about the Nipsey Hussle ritual sacrifice. And if y'all do remember this hangman pose, also the video is on my channel as well. Um, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin was in this exact same pose when he laid in the middle of the grass. Had his leg tucked up under him just like this. He was also positioned in the hangman pose so if you had any doubt about this pose being you know symbolism behind a ritual that will give you more proof if you want to go check that video out as well christopher darden was involved in the oj simpson case he is a high profile attorney so a lot of people in question were like you know how is this regular guy able to get a lawyer that was so high profile to take his case and, you know, you could kind of chalk it up to being the fact that he killed uh, a famous rapper. But, and, you know, it, it still didn't make sense why someone like him would represent the guy that killed Nipsey. Also says Lauren London's father is Jewish. She was close friends to the Kardashians. And guys that are romantically involved with the Kardashians are not the same afterwards. Similar to the movie Get Out. For those that are unfamiliar with the movie, Get Out was about a black guy that was romantically involved with a white female. And then y'all already know the rest. He was hypnotized and it goes into the stuff that we actually just talked about a few videos ago, right? So this article goes on to show more celebrities in the industry and in the film industry doing the vow of silence. Once again, this is also pledging allegiance to the one-eyed God. I just want y'all to remember that, that this does not just mean we're holding the secrets. See how Rihanna has the one eye? That is what they are pledging to, the one eye God. It's bigger than just keeping their mouth shut. But as you can see, Sierra, Bieber, even Bieber as a kid, LL. Kanye, they all participate in it. I think this was the guy from One Tree Hill. Can't remember his name though. So yeah, y'all, that is basically the Nipsey Hustle video. 
Um, like I said, I didn't want to make I didn't want to make this one too long. Um, trust me, I got a lot more content coming for y'all. But I did want to revamp this video and just kind of combine, you know, all the numerology and all the symbolism around Nipsey's death um, and bring it back to the channel. Because still to this day, I don't think that this was just some, you know, random beef. It, it still doesn't make sense. And the timing of it, you know, as far as him supposedly working on the documentary, you know, he was supposed to meet with the LAPD that same day. And then if we want to if we want to get more support about what happened to him, think about what Cat Williams said. I could put that clip back in this video. I think I've already used it twice. Y'all remember that clip where Cat Williams said, you know, they kill these rappers and they set them up. They get them set up in their own city. Kind of like the same way with Young Dolph and plenty more. Mo3, plenty more. Y'all know he was a part of the whole um, Empire Wave. Died a few days after King Von. But it's just like it's the same with Nipsey Hussle. They set him up in his own city. You know, you can say that this has something to do with Big U and his own set. Maybe he was extorted. He didn't want to pay no more. And they ended up trying to kill him. But I highly doubt it. I think he was set up by the industry for another round of sacrifice and we already know that's how the industry plays it and look at lauren london she's making movies with um with that other dude um what's his name i forget that movie she just made on um it just came out on netflix uh, i <laughs> i can't remember the name of it right now but clearly her career is still moving on you know as if this this is just the norm so, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If there's anything I missed, please be sure to let me know. Y'all know I try to get to all the comments that I see and respond to them. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hope y'all had a good weekend. And with that being said, it's Black Balloon. Oh, yeah, and um, as always, you know, even though I got things I'm working on, y'all, you know, keep letting me know what y'all want to see. For the next videos, always open to new um, suggestions. So, yeah, that's that, man. With that being said, it's Black Balloon. And I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.